Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of Windows 11 Tips and Tricks video and I'll talk about how to stop OneDrive from syncing everything on a computer. If this is your first time, I repeat visit. Thank you for your support. On this channel, I'm always trying new and different ideas. If you're into thinking outside the box, this is the channel to subscribe. If you're only looking for tutorial videos, there'll be links in the description box below. So I just upgraded to Windows 11 and the first thing happened to me uh, is that you know my OneDrive uh, cloud storage started giving me notification that my drive is full, which could not have been because you know I just have a very limited files uh, in OneDrive folders and uh, out of five gig space I use only one gig. So what I noticed that uh, when you switch to Windows 11 by default OneDrive starts seeking everything from your desktop or from your documents and as a result drive 5 gig, gig storage was full uh, within like 10-15 minutes and I had to delete uh, you know all the files manually and it was a big hassle so in today's video I'll show you how you can stop uh, OneDrive seeking everything from your computer and uh, this is just very easy and simple to do so the first thing you're going to be uh, doing is just click right here uh, uh, and here you're going to see OneDrive. Now if you do not see OneDrive then other way you can open it is just uh, click on the search box and search for OneDrive and then here you're going to see OneDrive so click on it and then it's just going to open OneDrive and then here uh, you're going to click right click from here and then from here you're going to right click and then if you go to OneDrive then here you're going to go to settings and basically we're going to be dealing with this section but I'll just close this and go back from here the hidden icon so just go here right click here and then here you're going to see help and settings and also here you're going to see settings so if you click on it then it's going to bring you to this uh, tab uh, or section where you're going to see settings accounts backup so let's start with settings. If you want OneDrive to stop automatically, you know, start uh, when you sign into Windows, then you can just uncheck that. But I do not recommend that because that way it's not going to run every time you start your computer or sign into Windows. And uh, so you can just like, you know, keep it checked. And we are going to uh, move on to the next section, which is accounts. Now, if you'd like to unlink OneDrive from this PC and then you have to just click here uh, but the problem with this is that this is not going to save you're not going to be able to save anything in OneDrive if you'd like so you know I don't recommend that either and here the next tab if you go to backup and what happens here important PC folders here you're going to see that you know if I click on manage backup and by default OneDrive is uh, choosing all these folders to save and as a result you know it fill up completely very fast so you have to just uncheck all these and then if you x that then it's not going to save those folders anymore and here you have more options that if you'd like to save automatically photos and videos then you can check that but uh, i don't see any need for that because it's going to fill up your 5 gig free space very fast so basically this is what you're going to be doing and then just go back to account tab again and here you can actually choose your folders uh, which will be available on this computer so basically let's say you have OneDrive synced uh, let's say 10 folders but you don't want all folders to show on this computer so if you choose here it's going to show all the folders you want on this computer and let's say if you don't want some folders you can just uncheck them and this, those folders are not going to be available on this computer but they will still be available on cloud but you're not going to be able to see them on here so you might want to do that if you are if you don't need some folders to be appearing on this computer then you can do that so basically that's how you can unsync or stop OneDrive seeking everything from your computer thank you for watching this video there'll be more videos coming up so I'll see you shortly thank you